Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Yungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So, if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. We've got a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy the weekly content that we post we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and you guys don't want to miss out on the amazing conversation so you can find us on itunes spotify pod being this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual we've got a patreon uh, funny and jesse you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel thank you for subscribing liking sharing everything that you guys are doing thank you very much i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to he tried to kill prophet muhammad without wasting time let's get into the video Be surprised what it does. So it's 20 minutes total, it's pretty fast. Yeah, we're going to be quick. 24. We can do longer if you need to, but we do have a few other things. Yeah, 24 minutes is the usual time. Oh, there's a counter in there? Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah? But a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my mouth was quite good. She won't put something here. Oh, God. Like that. Shake Okay. Yes, sir. Excuse me for sleeping, huh? Don't make me sleepy. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> I'm going to start off with a story. Now, this is not a bedtime story you tell your kids. How many of you understand English? MashaAllah. So you got less work to do. So I'm going to start off with a story because it gives hope and inspiration. And this is one of the haters from the past, and then we'll connect it with the haters of today. How's that? How many, you, how many of you need uh, some translation right now? Should we stop? Thumama ibn Uthah. Thumama was a hater who actually killed many of the, was a participant who helped kill many of the Sahaba. He also tried to assassinate the last and final messenger sent to mankind, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, can you imagine that? He was an enemy of Islam. Now what happens is he gets caught. The Muslims are out on an expedition, they catch him, bring him to the Messenger of Allah, and now he's detained. Where? In the masjid. So the Prophet comes to him and says, Thumama, what do you have to say? He says, Ya Muhammad, he says, look, if you kill me, you know, you've killed a great leader. If you want to ransom me, name your price. If you let me go, I'll be thankful. First day, second day, same thing, third day. In the process of the days that he's there, is he tortured? Is he tortured? No. Is he treated respectfully? Yes. yes. I can't hear you guys. Yes. He's fed. Is he fed or deprived of food? He's fed. And even from the food from the Prophet's household. So the man is treated with dignity and honor. At the end, same thing, on the third day he's asked, and the same thing is repeated. From there, the unimaginable happens. He's let go. This is because, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً This is that expression manifested 
of mercy. So what happens from there? Go ahead. <laughs> We're doing that condensed version today. He comes back shortly sometime later, and he's wet. I can you imagine? He's dripping, he's wet, he's coming back. They just, now the Sahaba are probably bewildered also. They're like, Kumano, what are you doing? You're coming back. And as he comes back, he says, O oh, Messenger of Allah, he came to testify that there's nothing worthy of worship except the creator of the heavens and the earth. And you, O oh, Muhammad, are the Messenger of Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. He came back and he says, I left because I didn't want to, I didn't want people to talk, to think that I was coerced. So he went, made ghusl, and he came back. And then he said the famous words. He said, Oh, Rasulullah, there was no man that I hated. How do you translate hate? Hater. Mirzna. There was no one. Nia Bio Niko. Let me practice my Bosnian a little bit. Oh my gosh, so Mirzi or Kapo, Kao Tepe. Asad Neema Nikuda. So holy, Kao Tepe. Nia Bila Gera. So San Mirzi or Islam. Anema Sada Gera. So holy, Kao Boli Islam. And then it goes on, he didn't, there wasn't a city that he hated just like a city. Now this is an example of a man who was a hater and beyond. And then he became a lover. So you can imagine now, now we can deduce what was going on in the masjid. What kind of things was he exposed to? Was he exposed because look, the evidence in Islam is overwhelming. The purpose of life, people, are in universities, they know their purpose. They're at the bus stop, they know their purpose. But they're in life, and they don't know their purpose in life. And Islam lays out everything crystal clear. While the philosophers to this day are debating, Islam comes and explains things, not just on blind faith, but look, with rational, logical evidences. Go ahead. <laughs> now let's bring it back to a Times Magazine article. In the late 70s, in April, they published a report talking about exposing the amount of books over a span from 1800 to 1950. Now can you imagine, over a span of 150 years, over 60,000, 60,000 books written against Islam, haters of today. So that's over one book a day. Al Jazeera just recently did a report. Just in Australia in 2017, they caught about 3,000 articles that had mentioned Islamic or Muslim and right in the same articles associating with violence, terrorism, radical extremism. So this is the hate machine that's being funded. You have a business that's being perpetuated of hate. Over a quarter of a million dollars is spent annually creating fear and havoc, spreading misinformation and lies and distortion about Islam. Now wrapping up, because I want to respect the time, is that we have been blessed with this deen. As we're grounded with it, it's our duty to do our best, to not only live it with the best akhlaq, the best manners and the best etiquettes, but to go ahead, and these stories are supposed to give us hope to know that even the worst of the worst of haters, and I've interviewed people from the English, English Defense League, uh, individuals who are political parties that were out there propagating hate against Islam, but when they got exposed to Islam, they made the human connection, the dawah hit them, and they were sincere. Hearts have changed. People just like Kumarma, who were haters at one time, they became lovers and are standing in the sauce, worshiping the one God, alhamdulillah. So I leave you guys with that. We established a program, one of the first and only Islamic TV talk shows, helping to clear the many misconceptions, and there's a ton of them, highlighting people's stories. And the good news is that now we also have the D show, Balkans. So we need your guys' support, anyone that can help. We want to get all these programs translated into the Bosnian language, and it's another tool that you can use really out there to go ahead and help share this message. Because of, as I often say, if you care, you share. So anybody that would like to help and contribute, you can see our brothers Tarek and Orhan to go ahead and see how you guys can 
support. And you can always find me at thebshow.com. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure being with you. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A lot of exciting topics. You don't want to miss out. You want to be here every Friday, and then we'll try to give you some short reminders in between. But you can't get that if you're not coming back to the show every week. Fridays we'll be releasing it, God willing. Inshallah, subscribe right now and enjoy all of the content that we're going to be putting out for you. Thank you. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Very, very amazing. This shows that even if haters, as he called them, there's or rather say if maybe you've got something against you as long as it's not god's will it won't happen whether someone woke up today and said i'm going to kill this person it won't happen if it's not god's will even if people say let's um let's put these people in a corner where they can't breathe because they follow this religion or that religion let's oppress them you won't wait. they may oppress you but at the end of the day god has your back and you may end up thriving no matter what that's what we should keep in mind always have faith in god hope and everything else let me know what you think about this otherwise i don't think we've ever reacted to anything but they didn't show so thank you to the person that suggested this if there's anything that you guys want us to discuss let us know by saying something in the comment section and we'll appreciate Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.